In 2015, Kenya lost the bid to host the Skull International World Congress, which brings together tourism players both in travel and hospitality sectors over security concerns. This has since been addressed, and now Mombasa County is preparing to host the 79th Skull International World Congress come October this year. The national and the county government is expected to spend an estimated 70 million shillings in hosting the summit, where delegates will showcase both beach and safari destinations both at the coast and up country the time they're going to familiar themselves with the destination and because the destination was clouded with insecurity this is the time we are clearing that cloud and and the deal is that they're coming to familiar themselves and then you have all the stakeholders who are trying to sell Kenya as a destination that's the time they will be able to to make the connection 200 delegates out of an expected 500 from 24 countries have so far confirmed attendance. It is one registered delegate as a person, rather of we come with spouses or family. So that's an additional issue. But for me, uh, the number of 500 is very positive. Mombasa County is currently receiving a major facelift, which involves repainting of buildings in a uniform color, recapiting of pavements, as well as lighting up the city in readiness for the conference. Indeed, it's looking beautiful. Uh, we have all buildings colored in uniform colors. We have had all pavements recarpeted in the main CBD area, and it's expected that everything will be done at least by end of September. Tourism Cabinet Secretary Naji Balala says the Skull Congress will be instrumental in increasing the number of tourist arrivals in the country. National carrier Kenya Airways and Ethiopian Airlines have so far a special rate for delegates attending the Congress in Mombasa. Caroline Jenga reporting for News Hour Business.